that some of my earliest memories are of watching the uh, astronauts walk on the moon. As I got older, I became very interested in space. I feel like, although I didn't know what I wanted to do, I always thought being an astronaut might be an awesome job. I always wanted to be an explorer, I guess. I wanted to uh, control and conquer the unknown. And of course, the conquest of space is I think the most exciting and challenging opportunity that we are facing in our lifetime. After completion of medical school, uh, I attended the University of Florida uh, Emergency Medicine Residency in Jacksonville. One of the things that attracted me to the University of Florida was they supplied the physicians to launch and landings of the space shuttle. When the time came, uh, there was an opportunity for me to get training at NASA to be able to work as a launch and landing support physician for shuttle operations. I uh, learned everything from uh, shuttle operations, how the astronauts are brought off, how to cut up a spacesuit, uh, how to extricate uh, an injured astronaut, how to take the astronaut's helmet off without dislodging a C-spine. A lot of excellent training. Working for NASA is always an uh, exciting feeling. It is an agency that recognizes excellence and that has always been something that motivated me to improve myself and to push myself. Aspiring to work with NASA is one of the reasons why I went to med school. It's one of the reasons why I excelled in my classes because I was internally motivated because I wanted to make sure that I had qualifications that would be attractive to NASA and, and in addition also furthered my career. By the period of the early 2000s, I was doing research on emergency medical procedures in space. Uh, I helped develop a human patient simulator that was functional in the space environment. So I formed Orbital Medicine uh, as a venue to do space medicine research and uh, aerospace medicine. And so this sort of dovetailed nicely. I was able to do research and uh, perform FAA functions uh, as a small contract company. The primary thing that we have been researching and working on with NASA has been a chest drainage that works in zero gravity. A hemothorax is a collapsed lung where you have bleeding. That is very common if you have trauma or injury to the chest. An astronaut on a mission is going to be far away from any definitive healthcare. Uh, and so anytime you have rapid pressure changes, there's a risk of a collapsed lung. So having the capability to retransfuse that blood immediately into the astronaut would be extremely beneficial when you are far away from any definitive care. The ability to treat an astronaut who's extremely injured in this austere environment is going to be critical when we do interplanetary exploration. After we developed the uh, basic concepts of the device, the team developed a version that we felt was good enough that it could be actually tested in space flight. We tested it on the Blue Origin New Shepard spacecraft. So the results were that it worked. Couldn't wait to see the video. Video showed that it worked exactly as we thought it would. So that was incredibly exciting. Working for Team Health gives me the opportunity to basically have the kind of exciting research life that I want and still work as a regular emergency room doctor. It's giving me the best of both worlds. Team Health has been very supportive of me doing this, so when I, I first uh, said, oh, by the way, you know, I, I love to work for you guys, but I have this funny side hobby. I, I do research for space. I, I found them in incredibly supportive, so I think it's great to have a company that allows you to have your own uh, personal passions and desires, that they are supportive of that. So, so that, is a, that makes it a good place to work. My hope is that the technology that I am developing now will save someone's life in the future. We want to be able to treat people in space to the same level that we're able to treat them on Earth. So my hope is that some future mission could be saved uh, by the development of this technology.